I remember about 21 years ago being on holiday, I was on holiday with somebody and I got a phone call that my brother had died. Um, he'd been very ill with uh, an illness called neurofibromatosis and had got steadily worse um, until he was paraplegic. And um, I remember getting this call um, that he'd died. So I went back um, quickly to the hospital and he wasn't in fact dead. He was on a, a life support machine and my mum and my dad and my sister were there. And um, I remember his heart beating incredibly fast, really very, very fast, um, faster than I think my heart had ever beaten before. And um, it was going so fast that you, you felt that it must sort of stop or it must break somehow, but it didn't. And um, we were there for about 48 hours. And, um, and then the, the people from the hospital came along and said to us that your brother has in, in fact um, died in the sense that he's, he's brain dead, but his, his body isn't dead, he's still on a respirator. And um, had he, he ever considered donating his organs? And in fact, he had talked about it before he died and uh, he'd said that, that he wanted to. Um, and so we, we, we agreed to that and we went away and this was over New Year. And uh, we came back, I think, on the um, 2nd of January and we went into the office and we asked how it had all gone with him donating his organs. And we were told that they couldn't find a coroner on um, New Year's Day to actually certify him dead. So they couldn't take any of the organs out. And um, I just remember getting really, really, really angry um, with them. Um, but my dad then stepped in and said not to be angry. And he just made the point to them, you know, don't, don't, doesn't anybody die on, on New Year's Day? And um, at that point, very quickly, they, they got on the telephone and they, they found out that, in fact, no, they had been able to find a coroner. Uh, and the, the, um, the organs uh, had been uh, obtained successfully. Um, it was just an administrative problem. And uh, somebody hadn't told somebody that this is what they'd done. Anyway, um, those organs were donated to, to various people. And one of them was... Uh, a really lovely lady called Kimmy, who um, who got my brother's liver, and uh, without that she would have died. And she's gone on to have two um, very very nice children, who wouldn't be in the world um, if uh, she hadn't have survived. And um, so the moral of this story, I think, is even if something really really awful happens if some little bit of good can come out of it, that that's very important and it's very important that that good does come out.